And I tell you, these people make it way too easy on me because here's the only change I made. Here's a unique avenue for free speech. Literally, the Jordan Bridge next to the Neil Marshall Black Culture Center. The usual paint jobs, club meetings, event reminders, and inspirational messages took a controversial turn in February when Thomas Buells manipulated someone's message. Here's a picture posted to Facebook. The painting originally said anti-racism doesn't equal anti-white. Here, it says anti-racism equals anti-white. Buells teaches radical traditionalism. He promotes his club on campus all the time through chalking, flyering, and painting. All I have to write is my student group emblem or our crest, and students, they just get it. Critics claim the group is racist, but Buells tells me they include members of all backgrounds. He says the university allows him to freely advertise his club. The university has not gotten involved like this in the past. But this time, IU did get involved, and anyone's allowed to paint on this bridge without the permission of the university. The same day the photo was posted to Facebook, IU Physical Plant came here and painted over the message with beige paint, possibly overstepping its bounds. On IUPD's crime log, it calls the image vandalism. When I showed the image to Ryan Purek from IU Communications, he said IU does not condone the defacing of campus grounds, and IU generally doesn't get involved with campus speech unless someone is directly threatened. Kip Drew is a campus attorney who deals with First Amendment issues. She says the university should only regulate speech based on time, place, and manner, not content. Where the university steps in is when it starts inter interfering with the business of the university. Buell says he thinks some interpretations of diversity mean getting rid of white people, but that's not why he changed the bridge. So why did you do that? Just to be contrarian, just to be a thorn in somebody's side. In Bloomington, Molly Jurasek, Hoosier News Source.